this is not a spring chicken. Remember how cold it was yesterday? Well, it's still. I think it's colder today. But you know what wasn't cold? It's the premiere for Breaking Dawn Part 1. That was, well, okay. So you knew that was going to be a hot premiere because I personally have had friends. Okay. Sleeping outside in Tan City since last Thursday waiting for Breaking Dawn premiere. The red carpet started at 4.30. Oh, of course. Oh, wait. I guess this isn't, isn't all about Breaking Dawn. But you know what? The fans absolutely loved it. They, well, they came all over the world just to see. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And the best part, of course, is always when they see their favorite fans, they come down the red carpet and they do signatures and autographs, which is why the fans are so, so crazy. Oh, well, I guess enough about that because news still continues and we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Okay, people, if you want to know, does this look like the same shot as yesterday? Well, it's the same ocean. <laughs> it's the same beach. This is one of our favorite beaches yeah, I to know. go to. And people always ask, we said, how do you get a private beach like that? Well, because not exactly a private beach. It is, nobody comes to the <laughs> beach except the police to settle on. You know, you got a policeman laying down by a pole and a policeman sitting on top of a, of a lounge chair. That's it, folks. Yeah, can you imagine how, how cold it would have been at that breaking down premiere? Oh, God, that's why we, we're not going to go anywhere. Okay, we did the Rose Parade. We'd get up like a... We actually wouldn't go to sleep. We'd just be, be up all night long. And go yeah, to but Rose we Parade. have to be there at 6 a.m. But see, on the Rose Parade, we, would, we would have been covering it all week, and you know you've got credentials. Yeah. We're just showing up at 6 a.m. For the week. opportunity. <laughs> For something that happens at seven o'clock at night. Plus, you got to pay for the parking and all of that. Just for the opportunity to spend 15 hours. Yeah. In the cold. Yeah. So. I think it's a bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Although maybe some people took them off on that. Yeah. So maybe. Yeah. Like we didn't hear about it until late last night. Yeah. Well, actually, excuse me, the night before. It. Well, that's because of the fact that. Uh, you know, generally when that happens, it means that people are going to go stand in the cold, is what yeah. I mean. It's like trying to get extra media out there. But uh, one of the big news is Brad Pitt says he's going to retire. I know, which means, uh, he's, 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 uh, the problem is Brad Pitt does not handle high def well, because he, it's why he wears the beard so much. My guess is, if like Sean Connery, he could do everything wearing a beard, he'd probably do everything wearing a beard. But that's real simple, folks. Do nothing but action stuff and get rid of the drama. And you've got another 20 years added to your career. Yeah. He can do action stuff, folks. He has done it. And well, done it and quite he well. He a lot of action. But I think here's part of it is with Brad Pitt, he's so handsome and good looking. They want close to cover. Yeah, but he's, he's, he basically, they use high def makeup on him because he's got, he had an acne problem when he was younger. So he actually um, could go under do cosmetic surgery and fix the problem. Yeah, instead of retiring. Yeah. Brad, we want you back. Well, no, actually he hasn't left yet. If he gets an Academy Award, he won't leave. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's for his Academy Award drive. Yeah. So, so actually, so that, so that they'll give it to him because you know sometimes they say, oh, he's got many more years. Oh, he'll him. get he'll get his Oscar nomination probably because they're going to, you know, they they we we already figured out who the people are going to get the nominations are. It's going to be probably Woody Harrelson, the gentleman from the artist. And Brad Pitt, and then two others who movies we haven't seen yet. Yeah, and Grant, military last guard against nuclear threat from Iran. Not if Obama has his way. They said Obama will not stop Iran from getting a nuclear weapon and destroying the Middle East. So they know that. They said if Iran gets a nuclear weapon, Turkey is going to buy nuclear weapons to Pakistan. If, if Turkey gets nuclear weapons, Saudi Arabia is going to buy nuclear weapons from Korea, from North Korea. So Obama is on the verge of setting, he's on the verge of making the biblical prophecy of the Middle East being on fire happen. How would you like to have that on your history record, folks? Well, he always did want to go down in history. He's legendary. I know. <laughs> I know. I just don't think he wanted to in this manner. Well, that's why the Democrats would prefer anyone else but him. I mean, they really would prefer anybody. That, they know that anyone but him, can, that even with the odds that he cannot lose the election, they're afraid he'll lose the election. But aren't they planning on him having, what, that for the green things to take effect, that Obama can actually change in five years? I, I heard that. Everything, you listen to what the Democrats are saying, there is no, uh, they expect Obama to be in a third term. 
which, uh, since the Constitution forbids it, they am assuming they're going to simply forget what the Constitution says and just, uh, you know, president for life, I guess. Well, they do have a history of doing that. Well, especially this president. The Constitution was written by a bunch of uh, white guys in powdered wigs that are not relevant to black people. Yeah, important. Oh, and <laughs> speaking of... The, Ro the Tournament of Roses goes politically correct. Oh, God. Are you seeing the Grand Marshal and the Rose Queen? I know. I mean, you talk about it's getting it. Okay. Uh, what they do is every year they think of something to diminish the ratings on the Rose Parade, thinking, well, we're going to. Actually, it's probably from the same idiots that decided years ago that only people a certain age were valuable to advertisers, and unfortunately, those people don't watch television. They also don't watch the road parade. So, I mean, if you want to have a, you want a real politically correct, with this name, uh, a Latino actor to be the Grand Marshal and a, and a Latino Rose Parade Queen, because they're the ones that line the park by a, a million out there. Well, they do. Yeah, so that will get you an audience because they'll come, they'll watch that. They have an, actually an Iraqi veteran that's black who's an actor that I've never heard of. Well, yeah, but, but we're honoring you. African American, excuse me. Yeah, well, no, it's just uh, because Obama's running for re-election and they're part of the Obama re-election campaign. Hey, maybe they helped to fund the Tournament of Roses parade. Oh, uh, maybe they're keeping tight Honda from leaving the parade, which Honda actually wants to do. Because yeah. Honda doesn't advertise much anymore, folks. Oh, they, maybe they put it all in the parade. Yeah, so we used to remember the great times we used to have with SEMA with Honda parties. Oh, yeah. No more. And the portrait of MM, former CEO, of course, on sale for $85,000 ago. I know. Ago? Yeah, so, I mean, Corzine is a great big, he's a, he helped, he helped destroy the economy, here, he helped to destroy the economy of the state of, uh, New Jersey. He helped to destroy the economy when he was a senator, and now he's helping to destroy the economy running a business that basically bought government bonds. <laughs> he'll say, well, I'm not responsible for that. The Obama administration is responsible for that. And Asia-Pacific ministers press Europe to act fast. But it's going to happen because those people don't care what the... They're not selling anything over there. Their product is coming in. It's not into, into these countries. The product is not going out. Like... Obama is very proud that we're only losing forty billion dollars a month, and you know to the, we buy forty billion more a month from Asia than we get under so. Oh, the Manny Pacquiao fight. Oh. Or, oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean that one. I mean she actually got to. She was there. She was. Uh, she had a ringside seat almost, and basically they're they're climbing foul. But the problem is, you you have to knock out a champion to win. And that's the way boxing is and those things. The champion will always win by um, by the points if you don't knock him out. It's just like the movie we saw, Warrior. They told him, you know, you've already lost this. You've lost the you've lost the boxing match. You have to knock the guy out because he's won it on points. Oh, that's right. In other words, and also he wasn't going to survive all the rounds. That's right. <laughs> so he had to be he a knockout. Bag. That's right. Burdank, he keeps focused on jobs, warns on Europe. Well, he's not focused on jobs. He sits there and gives a lecture to military personnel last week that you have to learn to be fiscally, uh, you know, uh, you have to have a sound fiscal environment. You must do this, you must do that. At the same time, you don't hear him saying to Barack Obama, you know, you've got to stop spending money. Yeah. But he tells the veterans you can't spend money you don't have. And he, really? He also told the Europeans you've got to stop spending money you don't have. Yeah, but here, what do they tell people? Yeah, spend until the press is uh, wiped out from the heat. Yes, but you know, it, it, it just so happens that the holidays are coming up, and they're talking about layaway no more. Yeah, they, they got to stop the layaway program because they're, I think that is consumer friend. Okay, let's put it this way. If you can't get the product any other way than pay a, a $5 layaway fee, you pay the five dollar layaway fee so you can get the product. It's yeah. Called, yeah, they have what they're so it's called opportunity. Yeah, but the de Democrats basically, like I said yeah, a couple of days ago, if it was uh, if it was a religion the Democrats supported, you would bet that they'd be pushing layaways. But they do not support the Christian or the Jewish religions. They only support the Muslim religion. But they want you to spend money. Yeah, you but, don't put it on layaway. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. You either put it on layaway or, or you don't it spend. on your credit card. That's right, but people are stopping credit card use. And Murdoch is the damage of Parliament grilling. 
Yeah, well, because uh, first of all, they didn't uh, they didn't do anything wrong, folks. It was their uh, people to work for them. The uh, but, you know what happens? This isn't Japan would have had to the company commit ritual suicide. The, the, the Western world. In, in the Western world, you fire the people beneath you. You don't worry about, you know, the, the boss. Okay, they don't know what goes on in the businesses they own. They flat out can tell you that I know people that have been in the, you know, the top of the industry and they say they only know what they're told and they're not told very much. And they're often surrounded by a bunch of yes people. I know, we know because Monty has yes roaches and they'll, they'll tell Monty anything she wants to hear. And MF Global Fund Frustration Grows and CFT. The FTC confirms probe. Well, yeah, the problem comes is it's another one of the Obama-supported things that, that Obama's supporting it because the Democrats were running the thing, and uh, he doesn't want those donors, the golden cow, to be killed. So instead of letting it die, he just continues. It's like a, a death by a thousand cuts again. Mm. A new Italian government thing within days. Nah, I think before we left, they decided, well, we'll be at least Friday before they even decide on who they want to talk about forming a governor. Remember, uh, Italy is sort of like Spain. It's, it's mañana, which is tomorrow. Sony racing to beat Apple the next generation of connected TV sets. We know the connected TV sets don't work, folks. I mean, how many times you got to be told that, okay, we're an example, not a spring chick place an example. She walks into her house with her cell phone or, or her tablet and it shuts off the internet. I know. And when you put connected TV sets in, the devices that they're selling, unless you buy an expensive system, are only good for three to four connected devices. And hosting a classic Thanksgiving dinner will cost 13% more this year, but there is no place. I know, isn't that a good one? I mean, we were just in a grocery store yesterday buying some stuff and the woman's complaining about the high cost of everything. Okay, for Thanksgiving this year. Oh, I know, we got a Monty Brother money. Okay, uh, the air windows over. And, uh, that's how you know this is the day and yesterday was yesterday, even though we got the same location on the beach because we didn't have the noise yesterday. But the, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the gulf between, they said there's a gulf between the wealthy and the non-wealthy. Well, there's actually a bigger gulf between people my age and those younger. When, you know, when I was young, Today meant today, the younger people consider it to be tomorrow.